if you're playing constantly against big hitters, yeah. the only thing is to do is to up the weight, up your mass on your racket. Okay. And this is why pros will play with very heavy frames. Yeah. If you're not playing against heavy balls all the time, you don't need the, the mass on the racket. So, um, you know, what you're playing with 290, 290, it's going to be great at the, you say, high club level. You know, medium to high club level, that kind of heaviness of ball. If you start going against heavy hitters, you might feel like you're losing a bit of stability, a bit of plow through. You can't just put your racket there and it's going to go. It's going to fold a little bit. Yeah. And at that point, you might be a little bit tight on the wrist, you know, as a reaction. But there's, there's uh, little you can do outside of trying to connect in the sweet spot. If you can connect in the sweet spot, then you can let the mass that you've got in the racket okay. do its work. So what, what are, what's the weight the pros are using? The, the, with strings and grip, yeah. you're looking at uh, 360, 370, up to 400 grams. Um, if this is a 305 racket, the, yeah. the strings weigh 20 grams. Oh, yeah. The grip weighs 10. Okay. The dampener weighs 3 or 4. So I'm already adding, what, 30, 33 grams on top of, so this is, what, three, 335, nice. okay. which is, you know, it's, it's fairly lightweight. Yeah, I will say this is probably um, about three, three no, Normally, as a base level for, for, for like, advanced players, you're looking at a 315 gram racket yeah. and then adding that 30 grams there and then maybe introducing a little bit of weight at three and nine. This is a great place to start. And I'd always recommend buying a racket which is under spec. So I bought this under spec so I can add weight to it in yeah. the places that I want and then adjust the balance. Like 